In our highly urbanized city of Singapore, it is sometimes easy to forget that we are part of vast natural systems. Rainforests and abundant marine life are at our doorstep, thanks to the tropical climate and abundant rainfall of our region. One of the key influences on our weather is the monsoon. The word monsoon comes from the Arabic word mausim, meaning season, first coined by medieval traders sailing in the Indian Ocean and Arabian Sea. For Singapore, the northeast monsoon ushers in the traditional rainy season, while the southwest monsoon is characterized by drier weather. The more dramatic Sumatra squalls commonly occur during the southwest monsoon and inter-monsoon periods. The region is also influenced by other large-scale phenomena, such as the El Nino Southern Oscillation and the Madden Julian Oscillation. These are caused by atmospheric and oceanic interaction and are related to eastward propagating waves along the equator. We do not yet fully comprehend how these phenomena may be altered by a changing climate. There are a host of uncertainties. The extent of sea level rise, the influence of aerosols and local pollutants in regional climate, the risk of unknown climatic events. But scientists must begin a dedicated effort to do so. The weather seems quite weird nowadays. Chinese New Year used to be hot, but it rained a lot this year. Some say it's climate change. I think someone should really look into what's going on. Climate change affects all of us, even here in Singapore. The biggest thing I worry about is the future and how life will be for kids growing up. The Centre for Climate Research Singapore brings together the components we need to understand future climate and weather in our region. The weather forecasting expertise of the Meteorological Service of Singapore and the focus and dynamism of full-time research scientists. The centre collects weather observations to monitor local climate variability and change over the long term. It studies the past to understand the present and the future. We have quite a good set of observations over Southeast Asia. We have noted that temperatures have been on the rise over the last three decades. In Singapore, the intensity and frequency of short duration intense rainfall has also risen during this period of time. When we want to make predictions, we use cutting-edge computer models to simulate weather and climate. We can look at a range of scales, both in time and space. We also make climate projections decades and centuries into the future. For this, we use sophisticated global and regional climate models. All this requires multidisciplinary expertise as well as very powerful computers to run the models. Basically, computer models are becoming more reliable because we have a better understanding of atmospheric processes, we have improved techniques and greater computing power. But we have a very special situation here in the tropics. Our weather systems here are driven by local convection. Unlike in the Europe or US where the weather systems are much larger, local convection works on a much smaller scale, just a few kilometres or less. Therefore, we need very high resolution models to be able to simulate convective clouds and thunderstorms. With so many challenging scientific issues to explore, I would say that this is a very exciting time and place to be involved in tropical weather and climate research. Because the work is so far-reaching, partnerships are key. In 2011, a multi-year memorandum of understanding was signed with the UK Met Office to deepen the centre's capabilities in climate science. The Climate Science Experts Network was set up in 2012. Tapping into the expertise of local universities and research institutes, the network also encourages cross-disciplinary collaboration. To ensure the rigour of the centre's methods and findings, an international scientific advisory panel has been appointed, comprising eminent scientists in the fields of meteorology, climate science and earth science. All this supports the work being done to protect the environment and keep our home a resilient and vibrant place to live, work and play. This is just the beginning. The implications are great, but the drive to overcome the many scientific challenges is greater. The earth is changing profoundly and adaptation is vital. This centre will contribute to making Singapore a resilient home for future generations.